I am here to destroy you. <laughs> come here, kindergarten kid. <laughs> no, come back, come back. Kenny, other way. Oh. Oh, Kenny. Kenny. Ta. Well, I tried to be clever. Oh my, <laughs> he really has, he has scissors and he has a clipboard. The funny thing about a lot of these characters is that presumably a lot of these people are not role-playing, so they're just caught up in this weird situation and don't, don't understand what's going on with us. Oh. I'm sorry, he's not a normal enemy at all. Ginger Hall Pass Police. That's my bad. So he's a, uh, he's got a shield, which means we have to hit him with, with a multiple light attacks if we can. A anything else is kind of a waste. Charm. Tempting. What go wrong? <laughs> Alright, well that's terrifying. That happened. Alright, let's try to do multi-attacks. Got- oh, the armor, armor's down at least. Wow, I haven't had a counter for a while. So he still- he still has a lot of defense, but at least now we can go past his armor. That was my bad, I should not have used Sling of David in that situation. But now I can. Now's the ideal time. Ooh, he's down. Yeah, I haven't seen an armored character- uh, not, well, shielded character for a while. Everyone's armored, so I got used to doing rapid-fire attacks. Uh, this would be a good time to use the furry friends, actually. I will admit I'm kind of sad about having that attack exist, just because I hate Wiggle Stick. In every game, I'm never a fan of Wiggle Stick. Of all the quick time events, it's the worst one for me. I'd rather, see, I'd even rather, I'd, I'd even have rather have the uh, like joystick, like spinning, quick time events over Wiggle Stick. Can I interact? Ah, uh, I wonder if I could have distracted him with that. That's interesting. Interesting. That's horrifying. I could have killed him with that, probably. Seems a little extreme in some cases. Can I go down at all? I cannot. What's up here? That's that's tied up. And this requires a key I don't currently have. So that's a silver key. We need the gold key to get to Mackie, silver key to get to the, that room, which I... Does it say it's his office? Yeah, counselor. That's 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 counselor Ma uh, Mackie's office. What's going on? So that's brass key. So we need a brass key to continue. <laughs> oh, he didn't surrender. I even tried hitting him. Can I open this at all? <laughs> Bypassing some obstacles requires help from your companions. Hold LB and choose the buddy icon. Okay, and tap. And press R right trigger. <laughs> Do that right now. Hold LT. Target the buddy icon with. Okay, fuck. <laughs> uh, with the buddy command selected, hold L tree and then select. Okay. Um... Oh, got it? Oh, wow. Boobies. Must have. Must touch. Boobies. We're gonna have questions when we get home, Kenny. So many questions. So that was a weirdly complicated control scheme for a simple action. Hey, everyone. You can take the brass key from my cold, dead hands. Go get them, Kenny. No. Get all of them. Just trick them all into being friends with us. No? Alright. Did I have to go in here? No, we need a key for that, too. Take the brass key from my cold, dead hands. I mean, maybe. Just give me time. I'll figure it out. Boom! Two down. You can't escape from me! Now you're all alone. Aha! They preempt they're preemptively KO'd and you're dazed. That's a bad time to be you. Are you armored again? Yeah, you are. Alright, we're gonna do rapid fire attacks then. Mongolian bow. De ah. <laughs> you 
you can press, you can fart with Y. It's probably because it's a flaming weapon, so you could do like a, a bow fart attack. There goes that armor. Ah, now he's stunned and burning. My favorite two things. Almost there. I gotta try this, right? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> it's everything I wanted it to be and more. More officers down. We're taking heavy casualties out here. Damn it, you hallway monitors need to stop playing around. He's got the brass key. He's some kind of dragonborn. Now look, this is detention time. Not time to play Dungeons and Dragons. And besides, he's never going to get inside here because to open the door, you need the gold key. And the only way to get the gold key is by getting the silver key. Okay, which even if he has the brass key, he still hasn't made it past the boss level. Okay. Well, shouted all that out to me. Mackie, you really got to stop talking sometimes. All right, we got the brass key. There's that. I love the forced focus, by the way, where, like, it's, it's an obviously a two-dimensional, like, South Park's a two-dimensional thing that was originally made out of, like, construction paper. I'm sure it's all animated now. But, uh, but, uh, <laughs> that, that goddamn thing, uh, they, pre they pretend to have, like, a dramatic, like, action movie focus on the walkie-talkie, when, of course, there's no 3D to have in the first place, really. 25 to 52, is it good? Bounces to hit a random target. Hits for extra damage, strong against armor. So it hits a random target, a random additional target, or just one random target? Why would I want to hit one random target when I could hit three, one target three times for even more damage? Plus fire. Did I mention the fire? Fire's pretty good. So none of these things open up. There we go. I got X drawing. And what happened to my school? And turd sandwich ballot. Official mascot ballot, 2004. Giant douche or turd sandwich? Whoa. Old. I'm sorry, I'm just going back to realizing how long ago that was. They're making fun of the presidential election for being between a giant turd and a... and a... a, uh, a giant douche and a turd sandwich, I believe. Here we go. That... Was it the presidential election? I don't, I'm, not, I'm actually entirely sure, but uh, at some point we actually went... I think somebody went into space at some point for being... and they were like... Uh, somebody was... I've got so many different references going in my head right now. So there, there was at one point where somebody went to space and they won a competition for being the biggest douche in the universe against an actual giant douche. I think that was just an overlap of the word douche, though. I think that was Bono. I think that was the Bono episode. Alright, bron bronze key acquired. Howdy, everyone. How can I do horrible things today? Clock will not fall on anybody. There's a pile of books over here, but that seems awfully far away. That kid is just full of arrows. That's concerning. Every step you take is another 10 demerits. Alright. That's fine. Uh, can I knock this down? Oh god. Forget the key. Protect the front lines. That's one down. That's one down. Over here. Boom. <laughs> one got hit by firework, one got hit by a, a tiny pile of books. Totally applicable problem. Same same level problem, of course. Alright. How do I deal with you guys exactly? Turn back, we've got a roadblock set up. I can't just sneak through here, can I? No. But if I fire... Oh, I could fart through it. There we go. Come quietly. Yes, dragon shout. Ah, they made they made the controls so weird. There we go. That's the wrong way. There we go. Got him. I wonder if the frequency thing doesn't matter. If I just tried going... Down... I don't think the frequency thing matters. Dude, you shit your pants. <laughs> okay, never mind. The, the frequency thing totally matters. Because that, that was too... that didn't work out. Okay. Because I couldn't quite tell if it's vibrating correctly, so I've kind of finicked around with it, and I feel like I'm not doing it right, but I guess I am doing it right, because 
when I tried to not do it right, it totally didn't happen. Alright, these two are down. Sunscreen. They have sunscreen because they're gingers. <laughs> the backdoor tickler? Wow. Wow. That's just a giant dildo. They hi they're hiding behind the, the markers and the highlighters and the pencils. They're just the hammer. Whose room is this? Oh, I want their teacher cubbies and stuff. This is this is this is distressing. You having a bad time? Uh maybe you can make him feel better, Kenny? Do it, Kenny. Make him happy or no? Can I swap up my party? Your word is the command, my lord. Yes, sir. There's your buddy. Thanks. I thought I was a goner. There were too many of them. They were too strong. Their hair, too red. Maybe you can take the silver key and find the gold key. You can succeed where I have failed. Free Mackie's prisoners. That is adorable. Oh, Butters, you're my favorite. And I don't have to wiggle stick to use your skills. And I can understand the jokes you say, because I can understand you at all. That is the kind of disappointment with Kenny. He's kind of... He's kind of funny as a background character, and his whole weird, uh... His, his whole weird gender bender thing going on right now is also kind of amusing, but I, it's kind of nice being able to understand what they say. Because Butters is funny. This is Mackie's lair. One wrong step and we could end up in detention. What'd you call me? Oh, heck! <laughs> One wrong step. He's not going anywhere. He's he's hiding in the other room. Intellilink manual. Wow, Intellilink. Okay, sure. That's when they. I believe that's when they tried to uh, create a new. They tried to add a new. Uh, oops. Oh, I mixed up my ranged and non-range. I'm, I'm actually starting to get confused by the controls now in this game, aren't I? No, you need to be swapped. There we go, shoot. Uh, just enough controls to get me a little off board. So, IntelliLink was when they tried to add a computer system to revolutionize and modernize the school. And of course, no one knew how to run it properly, so it... It, it backfired quickly. Take that, Mr. Mackey. Certified counselor. <laughs> it looked like it... <laughs> His position in the room made it look like it bounced off of Butters' head, which is fantastic. Can I open this yet? Hall monitor locker key. We never got that? That, those, what's with the cigarettes in there? In that locker? Oh, hey, what's up there? Ooh. Nice. That's far enough, intruder. Where's your hall pass? No hall pass? Then it's time to write you a referral. Oh yeah! That's the boss! Good luck fighting the boss, okay? You still think this is a game, young man? Deadly Fourth is authorized! Ah! Ow. Pain is mine. All the pain. So he's just straight up got... <laughs> he's got a tetherball weapon. That's great. Alright, let's look at everyone's resistances. Uh, no one has shields this time, I don't think. Nope, not really. I'll see you hang for this, new kid. I'm sure you will. I'm not particularly concerned. Should probably deal with the extra enemies. See what we can do about that. They got a ranged character back there. Maybe to go target him real quick. Oh, I should stun somebody because there's so many enemies. Maybe this guy. I should But I should check this I should check to see if he's resistant to stuns or not. Immune to pissed. Okay, and he has bonus attack. We don't have to play this game if you're getting bored. How about you guys? Weak to holy. Ooh. Focus on him then with the butters if I can. I see we are all at a stalemate. They're both weak to holy, so I should target those two with butters. I should and I should use jujitsu to stun stun uh stun the bottom guy. Here we go. Come on. The power of Hebrew compels you. Alright, definitely holy touch. 
Get him all comfy like. Yay. So, so you can swap bodies mid combat. That's nice too. I don't know if it skips my turn or not. Don't feel like testing it during a boss fight. Note to self for later, I suppose. Uh, if it's like pers if it's like the Persona game I'm playing right now, Tokyo Mirage, then uh, you may be able to swap to the right You're character whenever you want to to be able to take care of things. I think Bad Seed is a specific reference to. Uh, I want to say it's a reference to a movie about an evil ginger character. So this is shock damage. This is melee. Does it say holy? They, pro they probably both count as holy, honestly. Let's do hammer storms. Here we go. Pain time. How y'all's feeling, huh? Oh, he's eating. Shame on you. Red death from above. So those two should be pretty weak right now, right? No, not really. Right, I only stun the front guy. This guy's just fine. Um... I see we are out of stalemate. Wouldn't be a bad time to have those darts that attack random enemies right now so I could s spread the damage out a little bit, because I think it'll be a little overkill attack after one. Oh, well. Fun time! Bye. <laughs> Alright, one additional enemy down. But that's all you can do for that stuff unless I want to use a PP item, which I could. I could. Why not? Why not? I basically never use them. That's mana. Don't confuse those. Power. 10 VP. Yeah, I've got a bunch of these. Screw it. I got so many of them. I have so many of these, I'm not even picking them up anymore. This will let me take out the additional enemy. Yeah! Alright, we're gonna want to... If I can stop him, I'm gonna want to stun him again. He's getting... He's starting to... To act. There we go. And you're back to not doing stuff. Well, this is going swimmingly. Uh, just go hit him in the face. But teammate doesn't currently need a heal. Yeah, just go hit him. <laughs> Butters is a very impatient little man. You got the personal touch now with the lightning, wa <laughs> the lightning uh, rod again. Ooh. Lightning Rod melee attack. Does that work? Oh my god. <laughs> well, nothing prepared me for it to for that to happen. wasn't worthy of the He farted to levitate for a heavier plunging attack. All right, well we've got our got the locker key. Ooh, Mace of Restoration and a black eye. Oh. Well, one of these helps with the other, I guess. Apparently he's got a dark history of being uh, abused at home. So, this adds bleed, which is nice, sure. Oh, actually, I added that myself, didn't I? Can I, can I just take that out? Yeah, I can, cool. Uh, so we now have the Mesa Restoration. So this thing is 13 to 18 times three and plus 10. Oh yeah, this is also times three with more damage. Yeah. Wow, more yeah, more than 10 bonus damage. So I lose the lightning effect, but I get more extra damage, and on, on a perfect attack I heal just in general. Nice. What do I want to add to you for an effect? I can uh, add 5 damage to weapon attacks, 20 gross damage on a perfect attack, 1 bleeding on a perfect attack, 10% damage on a perfect attack. Oh, let's, let's do gross damage. Tuft of ginger pubic hair. Unless I could add that to my Mongolian bow. Well, I probably can, actually. I'm using the bow more anyway. I think, yeah, it's higher damage by a, a margin. And it's not even equipped with a modifier right now. Yep. Gr gross is probably the thing to go with here. So, you... See, 10% damage would be like... Like, uh... 3 more damage? So not very much. So 10% is not very... Yeah, I mean, and it also has to be perfect, so I might as well just add a regular old... 5 damage, unless I want to use bleeding. Yeah. Bleeding's a status effect, it helps. So we'll, we'll, just, we'll go with bleeding for now. Alright, Mace of Restoration equipped. And our... Mongorian bows are uh, upgraded. Oh, I can use the Missile of Slowing. Oh, but it's, uh... It's lower damage because it's only one hit. It slows your target, but it's only one hit. So I'd rather not a little bit. Alright. That's a good chunk of progress. Let's just throw a save down. Oops. That wasn't me not saving, wasn't it? Oh no, that was a save. 
thought it might have defaulted to, to, defaulted to no at first. Oh, Mr. Mackey. We're coming for you, Mr. Mackey. Dad! Damn you, Craig! Oh, we don't fight Mr. Mackey. I wanted to fight Mr. Mackey. Thanks for busting me out, kid. Who are you? What's your name? Oh well, I'm heading to Koopa Keep. See you there, I guess. He will never speak. You can't make him. You are now out of detention. Wow, he's so happy to be out of detention. He's unfazed. <laughs> he does not react at all. Can I go in here yet? Yeah! Let's go on back here. See what I can grab. Hello, backyard. Oh, there's gonna be a homeless man out back here. Oh my god, it's the goth kids. I heard you. I could hear that. Anything else back here? I forgot they're always back here. I heard the music. I'm like, oh, I know this song. There's this cool old dude who sells clothes on the other side of town. Is it, is it the homeless guy? Enjoy your popularity and 1.9 children in your 401k, conformist. Find your own pit of despair. God. There's this cool old dude who's- Enjoy your popularity and 1.9 children in your 401k, MK. conformist. You are a rotting corpse to me. Whoops, they talk over each other. We are all dying from the moment we are born. I see only Duff and Decay. You are a rotting corpse to me. Oh, please. What goth kid walks around in those clothes? Oh, please. What goth kid walks around in those clothes? We don't hang with conformists. Go get the stuff to look like we do. Go conform somewhere else, kid. We don't hang with conformists. Go get the stuff to look like we do. I love that joke. It was one of the, it's a really early one now at this point, but yeah, it's just the, the concept of like, of there being counter, when, whenever there's, oftentimes when there's a, some sort of counterculture movement, it almost always has a very distinct look, which then is kind of against the concept of being counterculture because then it's like, look how different we are and how we're all our own people in the same way. Hey! We got Craig, at least. So we need seven more friends for another perk. That's gonna be a while. But we did just level up, so that's good. And I might just keep pumping stuff into the same ability, honestly. It's so powerful. The more damage you have suffered, the more powerful your sling becomes. Okay, that's not the most impressive thing ever, to be honest. Maybe I should upgrade the next one. Increase damage with Jiu-Jitsu. I try not to take more damage. I think they're making jokes about- I think they're trying to make jokes about Jewish suffering or something. The Circumscythe? I just read the name of that. Oh my god. Oh man. That's- that's really worrying. For a game we play as kids. I see you there, enemy team. Fuck you, asshole. Not on my watch. Uh, are you gonna rape us? Oh Jesus. Butters, not the time. Not now, not ever. Oh, I have the Circumscythe now. Slices off the armor and shields of your target while inflicting bleeding damage to a sensitive area. <laughs> That's horrifying. But they're not armored at all. So it's not really worth it. Here we go. Oh my god. That was effective. It was very effective. Gotcha. One tiny little spike of experience, but mostly fun. And murder. Alright. Success has happened. We should make our way over to, uh... Over to Cartman's at this point. We've rescued them! Me out, dude. You shut the fuck up. How about that? You like that plan? I like that plan. Uh, Cartman, there you- that- there we are. I did a good love me. How's, how's diabetes doing, huh? Yep. Gentlemen, thanks to the new kid, our entire army is assembled. It is my belief that the new kid deserves to rank up in level. To honor his efforts, he will no longer be called douchebag. New kid, I hereby dub thee Sir Douchebag. Congratulations. But now it is time for us to take back that which is rightfully ours. A carrier raven has come with news that the Stick of Truth has not yet been taken to the Elven Forest. It is in the possession of... the Bard. 
a bard? Uh, oh, God, not the bard! The bard is a level 10 drow elf who can use magic to enchant and destroy his enemies. Are you ready to continue your training? Then make haste to the training grounds. Oh, wow. They gave me new equipment. <laughs> I'm wearing like a whole new set of, uh, of the Jewish stuff. The holy <laughs> yarmulke and holy robes. 10% uh, bonus damage when grossed out. Holy bile. Weird. Uh, take 15% less damage when bleeding. 10% damage when burning. Gain 1 PP when you take damage. Wow. So, like, everything about being a Jewish character is just about taking damage and then uh, having that bonus you. Holy ring. 20 pr uh, plus 20 holy damage on perfect attack. Interesting. That's probably a bonus over the druid gloves, honestly. Bonus damage on perfect attacks, yeah. So every time anything bad happens to me, I get more powerful, basically, is what's going on here. On, on top of having what are relatively strong weapons right now. So they left my bow in place, but they replaced my melee weapon with the Holy Staff. Uh, wow, actually, relatively powerful. 33 to 46 damage times 2, plus 10 holy damage. Deal 5% more damage when you're low on health. Versus Mesa Restoration, which is more powerful, actually. Despite that. Is that because of the modifier? 26 to 37. That's just better, isn't it? Because it's three, it's three hits. Yeah. Back to that for now. Alright, Cartman, what do you want now? What's going on? I'm going to teach you how to use a ranged magic attack. It's not easy. But being able to cup a spell from a distance can save you in battle. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> yeah! Let me show you one more time. Watch closely. <laughs> yeah! You see how it works? Now you try. Way back from where you're standing. Cup the magic and throw it at your opponent. Cup the magic. <laughs> yes, yes! But now let us see how you fare against a real opponent. Hey, hey, Malkinson. Malkinson, could you come help us with something? <laughs> Shh, don't touch it. It's going to be sweet. Yes? Uh, hey, Scott, could you um spar with Douchebag real quick? He's going to try a new move. <laughs> Now, douchebag, cup a spell! Now, Malkinson, don't forget to open your mouth. No, no, that's not it. Try again. Oh, whoops. How did, how did I mess that one up? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> douchebag, you let it slip right through your fingers. Try again. I guess I need to just hold it longer. That's my bad. <laughs> You threw that shit right in Scott's face! <laughs> Alright, Scott, go back to your post. Thank you. <laughs> Use it wisely in battle, douchebag. And never on a man's boss. If the carrier ravens are correct, the bard is hiding out at the inn of the giggling donkey. We must find him before he's able to take the stick back to the oven forest. Let us find the bard and bring him to justice! Make haste to the giggling donkey! It's suddenly less innocent when he's holding up a holding up a mallet and saying and screaming and gonna bring someone to justice. Uh calm calm down a little bit, butters. It's alright. Must destroy all of the word work, even though word work woodwork, even though nothing's actually changing, because of course it's just the it's just gonna be wood sitting in the same location but slightly less piled. Who's chopping wood? Who's There it is. The inn of the giggling donkey. Paladin, are you sure the bard is hiding out in there? That's what Twitter says. Carrier Raven, Butters. Oh, sorry, sorry, that's what the Carrier Raven says. Craig and Token, guard the back door. Butters, Kenny, Sir Douchebag, let's go inside. Stay close, Sir Douchebag. The end of the Giggling Donkey harbors the scum of Alzaron. A glass of meadle wine, please. No meadle wine today, only fairy ale. A pint of fairy ale, then. So, has, uh, anyone seen the bard lately? <coughs> a cup of fairy ale isn't much if not accompanied by some bardic poems and songs. Sure, he's here, all right. He's got a room down in the cellar. Ah, and I shall pay handsomely for his services. Sir Douchebag? Butters, douchebag, go down and flush him out. 
Princess Kenny and I will be waiting here to murder him. Remember, the bard can use songs to enchant. Don't let him get to you. Do I get to just switch teams? Stands pretty alright. Whoa, a security system here. Look at that. Electricity hooked up to power. Some kid's gonna die today. 